my word. Sebastian knows exactly what's up with the 16 millimeter lenses from Sigma. All right, guys, let's get to unboxing this thing. I'm really excited. This is a Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens for the e-mount. I'm just gonna let you know right now that I am so excited for this. And uh, came with this. This is a kit I got on Amazon. So it came with a flash and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Got a nice little cleaning kit. Uh, this is a flash and I heard that this flash explodes and it starts to smoke. But I don't know. I'll let you guys know if that's true. I'll have to test this thing out. But that'll be a separate video probably. And here it is right here, the Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens. So let's open it up. Let's take a look inside. Okay, actually first let's see what else is in here. We got more bubbles and uh, we got a nice little uh, soft box flash diffuser, which is pretty nice. This was all for $158, I think. No, I'm sorry, $458. That's quite a difference. So we got some filters, which is really nice. I don't have any of those. And uh, this is just a flash accessory, another diffuser. Okay, so it comes with that, whatever it is, who cares, right? And then I'm just gonna open this up. Comes with a hood. And here's the lens. Now people think that this lens is amazing and super duper sharp. So we're gonna see if that's true, which it probably is. I mean, I don't know how millions of people can lie and get away with it, but it does happen in the world, I guess. So my first impressions of just the overall feel of it is that it's very solid feeling. This is all aluminum right here. Just feels very nice, to be honest. Feels like the nicest lens I have. Okay, there's nothing really to see here, folks. Sorry my dogs are being an idiot, but here is the, the front lens right here. Looks like there's a little hair on there. Interesting, but yeah, that looks really nice, guys. See, it's got some coating on it. All right, so I'm gonna pop this onto my camera. Well, here we are, the very first test of the lens, and I hope it looks cool. So. This is really cool. I'm glad I'm getting the 16 millimeter focal length with such a wide aperture. This is 1.4 right now, obviously. Gotta test that out. And I hope the background is nice and blurry and the closer I get, the more blurry the background gets. But also probably my face looks kind of weird when I get really close to it. So you don't want to take like portraits with this lens up close because then it'll be like, and it just look kind of distorted. My nose will look huge like this and it just would not look good. So with portraits, you probably want to be like around right here. Just, And then, uh, yeah, we'll just see how the, the autofocus works. We're going to woo, and we're going to woo, and we're going to woo. Let's we'll see. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. So yeah, let me take some shots with the gimbal of my doggos. We'll see how it looks. Hey, doggo right here. Okay. So to get those shots of my dogs, I had to just carry around a hint of lime tortilla chip with me. And uh, yeah, this is a test to see how well this lens would do as a vlogger lens. I'm guessing it would be pretty good. Feels like it would be. Um, yeah, so this is really interesting, getting this focal length. I never really bought a lens before that had such a wide focal length. 
so I'm hoping this will be put to use in, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, probably landscape shots and some portraits. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just amazed by the quality of this so far. Um, it's really sharp. Just by looking through the camera, I can tell how sharp it is. But on my computer, it's going to be much more sharp. So I'm hoping that this video helped you guys out. And I definitely recommend this lens so far. I don't see what could possibly change my mind. But I do think you should know that there were some minor scratches, very, 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 very small scratches on the coating of this lens. And I looked that up to see if that would be a problem. And people basically said that that doesn't affect the image quality at all, so you don't have to worry about it. But that is one disappointment out of this lens because I bought it brand new. There shouldn't be any scratches on it. I know I could send it back and get a new lens and all that, but I don't think it's really worth it since it doesn't affect the image quality at all. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching, and God bless.